super talented player, Hall of Fame player, which the two of you are, na parang, would you have the patience to teach? Kasi syempre, yung mga bata, hindi makipick up kagad yung skills. Di ba, yung sinasabi nila, pag masyado ka magaling, baka you might not be a good coach because you might have not have the patience for it. Ang galing yung dalawa. How do you have the patience to teach basics, fundamentals, even if they don't, you know, get it the first time? Uh, when I was when I just retired and then I started teaching uh, players, I was an assistant. Um, I was I was a bit frustrated. Um, na mahirap magturo and then the players don't get paulit ulit ulit. So I would say yung mga when I was in my forties, early forties, I was very impatient with players. And then I realized later on, na parang I have to take a different approach because uh, players these days might not think the way I would think, and and maybe Olsen would feel the same way. Now you have to be patient with them, and you have to repeat over and over again, if they, even if they are in the pros. So much more, kung nandun sila sa high school or college, mas grabe yung patience na kailangan mo. So now, I, I see a different view in terms of how I want to develop my players uh, just to be patient. Uh, did you uh, go through that same parang learning process? Oh, yes. So, um, in fact, because of um, so many years of playing, you gain so much experience already that Pag may makita ka, alam mo na kung anong gagawin mo eh. Diba? Sa court, ganyan eh. But, you know, these kids, hindi, you cannot just expect them, you know, to, to do that and to know that. Then to get it right away. So it takes um, years, diba, of uh, practice, paulit-ulit. And um, as a player before, yun yung kinainisan ko eh. Diba? Paulit-ulit yung ginagawa nyo. Uh, so, yeah. yung pinapagawa you sa inyo, you sa inyo you were players. Oh, uh, you don't see the point. Kasi alam mo na to, ganun. Now, you understand that. Yeah. And now, that's what I share to my players. You know? Ngayon, so hindi, hindi nyo na, hindi nyo na appreciate yung ginagawa natin. Pero, ma, ma, malalamdaman nyo rin yan ganyan. When you become a coach, you kind of have to uh, take a step back. Kasi ang nasa court, iba na eh. Ang gusto nyo, di ba? Ang gusto nyo makilala ng mga tao are your players. Is that hard na you're actually giving up the spotlight for somebody else. For me is, uh, tapos na nga yung time namin eh. The less the players see me, you know, the better for them. Now, I just want them to play. And a lot of coaching actually happens um, in practice. And actually the game, kung isipin mo, there should be less coaching kung yung players mo were prepared well. How about for you, Jose? Oh, eh, kasi when you, when you coach, you know, it's not about you. It's about them. It's about your players, especially at uh, the college level. So, uh, although, pag head coaches, nandun ka pa rin sa lim- limelight eh. But, um, going to your point, nung nag-assistant coach ako, yun ang nasa background palagi. Kasi, di ba, from, from player na nasa limelight ka to an assistant coach. Ang assistant coach talaga, uh, sometimes underappreciated eh. Because you do the, you do the work. And then, pag nag-champion uh, niya, siyempre, players ang nandiyan, head coach ang nandun. Yung assistant coach nandun sa dulo. Mapapansin niyo yun, palagi nandun sa dulo. So, uh, but again, when you coach, it's not about you. It's about the players. Eh. So, Medyo nagug- nagulat ba kayo na, ah, okay, this is life pala pag yung, hindi na ikaw yung pinag-uusapan dun sa court. Is that tough? Um, well, sa akin, um, not, not really. Uh, kasi siguro sinagad ko yung, <laughs> yung paglalaro ko na hanggang So para pinagsawaan mo na rin yung life life Sinagad ko na talaga na na, na, na it's their turn di ba? But uh, ma, ma, may ano eh may, um, may adjustment period talaga eh. uh, But uh, you know you just, you just realize that you know uh, mabilis ang turnover ng ano eh sa, sa basketball eh I, I kind of welcome the idea na parang I'm unrecognizable. Uh, although, hindi mo rin mapapansin ma, mo yung pumapansin sa atin, yung mga may edad na rin, yung mga bata, halos hindi talaga kami kilala eh. And, uh, and, and prime example is you go to a mall, pag may bumati sa'yo, ibig sabihin, medyo may edad na, nasa mga 40s, mga ganun, or even mga late 30s, alam mo eh, nagsasabi sila, oh, nung elementary ako, oy, uh, fan, of, uh, fan of fan mo ako yung mga ganun. But it's, um, I actually welcome the idea because for so long, tayo, wherever we go, we can actually, in the 90s, we can actually go to the mall, to the mall and not be bothered. 
And even when you eat, kasusubo mo pala may magpapapicture na sa'yo. Mga tipong ganun. So, I want to get away from that. And so, it was a relief some sort when I retired. Na ngayon na wala na masyadong nakakakilala sa amin. Sa akin. Sikat ka naman kasi talaga. Eh. Sobra kasi. Diba? <laughs> Sobra eh. Diba? Kaya at si Jojo para, I don't like it anymore. It's too much. Jojo, let's tipo ko sa'yo. Oh. Abby King. Eh, Toyota fan ka eh. Toyota fan ako. Toyota fan ka? Toyota fan ako talaga. Kalabangan namin eh, Toyota kami ko Chris Pan. Abraham Columbus King. Diba? Kita kita. So, hindi ko alam kung tatawin ko, Sir. Mythical yun ma. Hindi ko alam kung tatawin ko, Sir, Tito. 